In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure to replace your engine's timing belt and water pump. In this step, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure for removal of the actual water pump from the engine. Now, down inside here is where the water pump is located. The water pump is actually, this is the pulley for the water pump, and it's located all the way around here, and it has five mounting bolts that hold it on. Now only four of them are still in there. Through this hole is where one of the mounting bolts for the engine bracket went. We already got that one taken care of. Now when you take this water pump off, um, there will be some coolant that comes out. Just being that the engine block still has some in it that didn't drain out through the radiator drain cock. So you're going to want to place a bucket underneath that to keep your floor clean and be as environmentally friendly as possible. I'll take a 10 millimeter socket with a swivel that really helps out with getting into those tight places and a small quarter inch ratchet. I'm just going to start on the first bolt. You see there's no particular pattern when taking it off. However, when tightening it down, you are going to want to use a star pattern. And I'll show you that here in a moment. What we're going to do to catch as much of that coolant that's going to drain out as possible is just take and back off all the bolts a couple turns. What that'll do is let the water pump come free from the engine a little bit and that'll give it a crack so that coolant can drain out from the motor. Alright, now before you break this water pump loose, like I said, make sure you have your drain pan or bucket beneath it. Once we have all the bolts broken free a couple turns, you're going to take a rubber mallet and thump this water pump to break loose the gasket connection between the pump and the block of the engine. That'll allow our coolant to drain out. All right, once you've made sure you've gotten as much coolant out of the engine as you can, you can go ahead and spin out your water pump bolts. And the last one right there, and I should be able to just remove your pump, just like so. That is the proper service procedure for draining the coolant from the block of the engine and removing the water pump itself.